Here are two sketches with some notes that you need to get on the back of one of your pages for the reading or on a separate page. It would be a good idea to have these notes in your on the back of your reading so that they're with your reading in your binder. But basically we're looking at the characteristics of the two different types of air masses. Basically a high pressure air mass, which would be a cold air mass. High pressure air masses reach high into the atmosphere. They're made up of cold air, are kind of like a big bubble. They're generally dry air, not humid air, but generally dry. This is cold or cool air that's sinking down toward the surface of the earth from high up in the atmosphere. It's cold. It's dense air. And when we talk about a high pressure system on a weather map, we use the symbol uppercase H. And winds, when we, if we're looking at the surface of the earth from above, winds circulate around a high pressure system um, in a clockwise manner. Meaning, if you're looking at the center of a high pressure system on a weather map, the center of the high pressure system would be the middle of the bubble if you were looking straight down through it from the top of the troposphere. But the winds on the surface of the Earth and even within the high pressure system, they move, they circulate, they, they're constantly moving. And they constantly move in a clockwise manner around a high pressure system or within a high pressure system. And, and this is important because it's the opposite of what happens around a low pressure system. The, uh, the important features or characteristics to make note of with low pressure systems and low pressure air masses, these are warm air masses. They're lower in the atmosphere. They don't extend high up into the atmosphere like a high pressure system does. They're generally close to the surface. They are made up of warm, moist, humid air, lots of humidity generally in a low pressure system, lots of moisture. If not humidity, like in the wintertime, low pressure systems just have a lot of moisture associated with them. But they have a higher level of humidity, and these pressure systems tend to rise in the atmosphere because they're warmer, hotter, and less dense air molecules. We use a symbol, uppercase L, on a weather map, to denote the center of a low pressure system. And winds around a low pressure system, or within a low pressure system, circulate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. One other thing for you to remember is that low pressure systems lift pressure off of the surface of the earth. High pressure systems press down upon the earth with dense, heavy, cold air. So the difference between these two systems, low pressure systems lifting pressure off of the earth, high pressure systems pressing down upon the earth, low pressure systems warm air rising into the atmosphere, high pressure systems cold, dense air sinking down upon the earth, pressing upon it. This is what it's important to understand about air pressure and how air pressure is created and how different air masses have different air pressures and bring different air pressures to the surface of the earth. It's important for you to go back and review the videos that I gave you links to in your emails. The videos that I have not created that are on the internet that I've given you links to are key in helping you to understand and comprehend how these weather systems work. So please get these in your notes and we'll take a look at paragraph three.